Sagittarius, hello and welcome to both sides of the story where we will be taking a look at a connection for you. We will be looking at your energy, your person's energy and the energy of the connection that you share together. Regardless of who this person is, this reading is not intended to confirm to you who your person is. You've already decided. You've already set that intention. This is the third time I've tried to do both sides of the story for you, Sagittarius, and Mercury is not even in retrograde right now. Um, I actually did the entire reading, including the extended, and both of the files were corrupted and unplayable. Um, instead of getting frustrated or annoyed by such technical glitches, I see that as a sign that that was not meant to be. So third time lucky, right? Sagittarius, this is you within this connection. Ah little loyal doggy there somebody have a loyal heart somebody pining Sagittarius this is this is lovely your person is the wishing well hmm digging deep digging deep okay this is possibly unearthing things it's it's a little bit shadow work kind of energy going on there could be that they are kind of excavating emotions that they weren't fully aware that they were there it's quite deep now do please bear in mind that for some of you this will be the other way around this will be your person and this will be you Sagittarius it's entirely up to you to discern which way around this is it's it's all just energy that's floating around you right now I will proceed the intention for me as a reader is that this is you and that's the way I will read it but you know, general reads, it's entirely up to you to figure out how best to watch this read, to get the most out of this read. I have put a little bit of information in the description of, of how it is you can get the best out of this reading. Oh, and you're the first sign I've actually remembered to say this for as well. I'm on Instagram now, um, at Window Tarot. I've got like 10 followers or something so, so if you could follow me i would really love that um i have no idea really what i'll be posting on there um a lot of people asked me for instagram so i have relented if you've got any ideas of what you would like me to post on there let me know i could i could do like a daily card poll or something or whatever let me know if, if there's anything specific you would like to see over there but first and foremost follow me because i'm a little bit sad and lonely on instagram right now past energy of this connection here Sagittarius is the king of cups hmm okay so distance separation and yet still love remains okay present energy Ooh. okay this is after tarot and anybody familiar with traditional Rider Waite Smith will of course see that there is a significant difference going on in this card is somebody come back around coming back around to take another look at this cup Sagittarius did you pull away did you pull away from somebody and you've had a change of heart you've come back to take another look at this connection or you're about to it looks as though you never quite shook this person off I am seeing a split here I am seeing distance you know literal distance perhaps you live in a different state or even country i'm seeing separation i'm seeing a connection in separation presently and i'm seeing you and your person one or both of you or po po more likely both because i feel okay i feel like somebody never let go and the other did pull back and is now taking another look could be this person here you know because we are now dipping this bucket into the depths of the water there water is emotions it could be that we ignored and we we had like a dry spell of emotions here but very much coming back around to taking another look i feel like we've there's a change of heart coming through here and, and we never really quite let go moving into the future of this connection wow Okay, well, I mean, you don't have to have 30 plus years of tarot to understand what's going on here, do we? This is renewal of love. 
This is somebody who is now inspiring feelings of love. Someone who I do believe that we pulled away from. This is the gift of love. This is offering love, rekindling. Emotions, 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 loyal heart. Okay. I feel... I'm trying to figure out who was waiting and who pulled away. And I actually, I think, no, regardless of what happened on the surface, I don't think either of you really pulled away. Not fully. I think you may have physically pulled away. But I think in your heart, I am seeing a heart that has always been loyal. And I'm seeing here a heart emotions that were always here but perhaps not always fully explored or addressed like ignoring the emotions but they're here and here just just the heart always always remaining loyal you know the the dog card comes along with the ten of hearts here which is the ten of cups the bliss card the happily ever after card this is a strong connection and I do feel as though somebody has warmed it off, stopped, turned around and come back and picked up this cup again. Whether we're actually seeing any of that right now, it could be that we're just ruminating on this, we're thinking about this, we're considering this. The offer is coming. How do you feel about this person then, Sagittarius? The Six of Pentacles. Okay, so you, you want to give them something. You want to give them something. I mean, we have a cup being given here. We have love being offered. So I would suggest that that's what you want to give them. You want to come back around and give them something that perhaps you did not give them before. Or that's what you would like them to do for you. But I, I feel this is more coming this way. How you feel about them is you want to restore a balance with this person. You don't want them to restore it. You would like to restore the balance. You feel there is something here that you did not give this person that you would now like to give them. I will clarify these. How they feel about you. Oh, is the three of swords. They're still hurting. This separation hurts. They're, they're heartbroken. They're absolutely heartbroken. They're still heartbroken. Why is that? Why still? Where did that come from? They're still heartbroken. Has this been a long time? Is this person still heartbroken after all this time? This person absolutely has never let you go. They may have ignored. They may have shoved the feelings deep down so they didn't have to address them. I will, as I said, clarify these, but let's have a look at the energy that you're sending to this person, whether consciously or not right now. Ace of Pentacles, let's start again. Let's get this party started. Let's start again. I, again, it's this, I have an offer for you. I have something for you. I have a gift. I have something tangible. I want to give you something. This person very much wants to bring, and look how this, this dog here, yes, he's holding his lead as though let's go for a walk, you know, but he is bringing something to his his master, his, his, the person that he, he loves there. There is a gift kind of energy here. Now, it might not be a bouquet of flowers or something. It might be more the gift of the offer of this, this offer coming in. They want, you want to give this person something, something that you have not been able to give them before. It could be that something has changed in your circumstances and now you are able to give something that you could not before. But you absolutely, you, the energy is going this way. You want to be bringing something here. The energy they are sending you is the Page of Pentacles. It's kind of similar. It's like <laughs> you're the one giving it and they're going, yes, thank you. I want this. Uh, it's like an acceptance of the gift, excited about this, whatever it is you're bringing them. They've been looking for this. They've been hoping for this. 
you're bringing them exactly what they had wished for here. What you wish you could say, we will explore in the extended whether you do say this or not, but what you wish you could say is the hanged man. So you would like to talk about how you've kind of freed yourself. I'm, I'm very drawn on this occasion to this lock here and the lock here and the fact that this hanged man holds this key. You probably can't see it, but he's got this key in his hand here. So he could quite simply do a Houdini and unlock himself at any time here. This is you wanting to express how you have freed yourself from something now it's like now i was stuck i have been stuck but now i'm available now i'm free in some way to come in and give you what it is i've always wanted to give you what it is you deserve that's what you would like to say what would they like to say to you what do they wish they could what they wish they could say to you is i've never let go of you i've never let go of you sagittarius never let go not once i've held on to you in my heart this entire time, the whole time, I never let go. Very strong connection coming back around here. Um, let's get some clarifiers for all of this. I feel it was you, Sagittarius, that was stuck. Hanged man, you know. Um, I feel it was you that was unable to give. But there's something's changed for you and that's like the first the second you have the freedom to do this it's like i can do this now i can come back and look at these now i can and i don't even necessarily see any worry that this person's moved on or anything maybe that will come up in these clarifiers here but it's it, you feel quite positive that there is a little bit of kind of justifying your actions here let's have a look how do you feel about them you want to give them something you want to bring something to you want to restore some restore a, the balance the the imbalance that had been created here wheel of fortune this is one of your cards sagittarius by proxy it's a card of jupiter and that of course is your ruling planet this is a new cycle this is changes coming in it's taking a risk it's taking a chance it's like a, it's kind of divine timing it's like i can do this now i can do it like like there were blockages and obstacles and there were things that stopped you from coming towards this person and suddenly all of that falls away and the path is clear and it's like you can see them and you you are just flying that way um there's there's not really much hesitation here it's like I'm feeling you were tied down in some way, unable to, the second those bonds and chains were released, the second you had the freedom, this was, this was where your focus immediately went towards this person here. I feel there are things that you've learned. I feel you've grown. I feel you've leveled up. Um, but there is like this, this energy of fate or destiny. Fate is what you cannot change and destiny is what you're meant to do. Um, coming towards it's, but it's like, now I am able to, here I come, here I come. Your person, how they feel about you is they're still reeling. They're still heartbroken. They're still in pain. Nine of swords. Wow, they really are. Could be your person's a Gemini here. Um, the nine of swords is uh, Mars in Gemini. Could be that they're an air sign to, you know, Libra and Gemini here. Um, they feel... Um, sad anxiety they're not sleeping very well there is there's absolutely here the energy of not sleeping very well it's failure it's doubt it's regretting choices it's again you know the three of swords and the nine of swords together is whew, yeah that's that's really tough energy kind of going around and you know normally there would be a bed on this card and there wouldn't be a bed on this card and it's like that energy of sleeping i think your person is emotionally exhausted put them out the misery sagittarius is really what instinctively what i would like to express here 
I feel you you're you've turned back this way but you're not quite on their doorstep yet put them out their misery my goodness me because they are in misery here they are still hurting I feel they are they've hidden the true depths here perhaps they've gone quiet perhaps they've not been particularly forthcoming but it, oh goodness me it's still here it's visceral the pain it's still very raw it's still very real I don't think this person has done anything like get over you no matter what they say Sagittarius energy that you're sending this person is more of this I, I need to bring this person something I need to come in with an offer now let's see if we can get a little bit more of what, what this could be the eight of wands here mercury and sagittarius it's one of your cards it's swift incoming communication it's action movement intention moving towards coming in it's almost um kind of comes with this sense of urgency and i'm getting that very strongly that everything suddenly like the gears the cog clicked onto the next chapter for you and it was like all of a sudden the door was wide open and you it's flying absolutely flying towards this person now with that sense of urgency this is absolutely sliding into dms getting on an airplane getting in a boat in a car on a motorbike whatever on a bicycle you, you want to get to this person you want to be with this person you want to physically touch them to see them to smell them but you absolutely this you need to bring something to them in some way shape or form and it's so urgent now there is communication here so in the um, extended i will open up this dialogue here whenever i see the eight of wands um it is a card of incoming communication so i would like to explore that further we'll do that in the extended energy that they are sending you is they're they're kind of waiting for you they are ready and willing to accept this communication that's coming in at the very least it's communication although the ace of pentacles would suggest it's possibly something more tangible than simply words let's see what else they're sending you justice okay so they would like some justice they want you to right the wrongs find some kind of balance so they want some truth from you they want some fairness from you um they, there are things here that need to be fixed and they would very much like that to come in for them they're very much looking at how they can heal how they can find some balance for themselves because they're not particularly in balance right now i feel they're putting on a good act honestly i do feel there's there's an act of i'm okay but underneath this and it's here it's like the pain of this three of swords and this nine of swords here is deep deep down in the bottom of this well and on the outside everything looks rosy and shiny and sunny but it's it's still there it's still there deep down deep in the depths of their heart or in their emotions there's still all this pain and they very much would like that to be fixed essentially i do feel on some level they are hoping that you can come in and fix that i have my reservations about sitting in that energy um i don't think anybody should be relying on somebody else to come and make something better or right or fix something within themselves even if they feel on some level you caused this pain sagittarius i think healing does have to come from within perhaps you could help them you could assist them with that process what do you wish you could say we have the conversation here that the urgency but what you wish you could say is I'm, I'm free i can come i'm sorry i'm sorry it took so long i was stuck i was trapped i was tied up i could not get to you but i can now three of swords it hurt me so much you were in pain too sagittarius it hurt me so much not being able to come to you that's what you want to say we will explore that much deeper in the extended what your person would like to say to you is i never ever let go of you not really not truly it was always you it's always been you from the second i laid eyes on you but i possibly 
held on too hard and I'm possibly I should have tried to let go but I, I just couldn't I just couldn't do it I could not let go yeah the page of ones I was focused on you I was so focused on you I was hoping for you I was wishing for you I was excited about the possibility of you coming back they have waited and they have never let go they've never let they haven't let go of the hope they never let go they remained hopeful that at some point you would be back they want you back they they want you back they want you back basically Sagittarius um, and I think it looks as though some kind of pathway has cleared or opened up to allow you to do that right now in the extended i will look at action towards each other i'll look at the outcome i'll get an idea of timing i will explore this conversation and i will run through each of the signs as well so we've got loads loads more to explore in the extended that is over on patreon um how it works on patreon is you pledge five dollars to support me on a monthly basis you will have access to the extended for this reading here Sagittarius and you will also have immediate access to all of the extendeds for all of the signs plus all of the exclusive and bonus content that you can find over there on Patreon there are literally hundreds of videos exclusive to Patreon sat there waiting for you to access for only five dollars if you don't want to go over there that's fine just hit the like and subscribe button if you want to support my channel Please do take care, good luck with this, and I'll be back for the mid-monthly check-ins really soon.